to dig deeper where we study the Bible verse by verse with your teacher, Pastor Carlos. Let's dig. Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem, and when they heard the loud noise, everyone came running. They were bewildered to hear their own languages being spoken by the believers. They were completely amazed. How can this be? they exclaimed. These people are all from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages, and we all hear these people speaking in our own languages about the wonderful things God has done. They stood there amazed and perplexed. What can this mean? They asked each other. But others in the crowd ridiculed them, saying, they're just drunk, that's all. Then Peter stepped forward with the eleven other apostles and shouted to the crowd, listen, listen carefully, all of you fellow Jews and residents of Jerusalem. Make no mistake about this. These people are not drunk as some of you are assuming. Nine o'clock in the morning is much too early for that. No, what you see was predicted long ago by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Dig Deeper. I pray you're having a very blessed evening in the Lord. Jesus loves you a great, great deal. Well, go, welcome, and if you've never subscribed to Dig Deeper, please subscribe, click notification, share this video with as many people as possible. This evening, we're going to be starting here on Dig Deeper, the book of Joel, as you saw there at the day of Pentecost, the fire uh, of the apostle Peter used that as an example uh, quoted from the book of, of Joel chapter 2 and so the book of Joel the day of the Lord is at hand a call to repentance a message for America let us drink our water we're going to talk about that we're starting this journey in the book of Joel here on Dig Deeper let's drink our water salute all right I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to get into God's Word. All right. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you direct everything I say and everything I do. Let it not be me. Let it be you. Let it be for your glory. Let it be for your honor. Touch all those who are watching. Dig deeper this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. As my son calls Israel said, let us dig into God's Word. All right, let, I want you to have your Bibles open to the book of Joel. And we'll, today is just going to be an introductory part of Joel, okay? And then we'll begin full steam next week. We're going to do a, at least maybe two verses of Joel, time permits. And uh, let's go. Joel, just a little bit of Joel chapter and we're going to get right to it. Here we go. The book of Joel. Joel chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, son of Pethuel. Hear this, you elders. Listen, all who live in the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your days or in the days of your ancestors? Tell it to your children. And let your children tell it to their children, and their children to the next generation. What the locust swarm has left, the great locusts have eaten. What the great locusts have left, the young locusts have eaten. All right. That was uh, David Sukhav reading for us. Here we go. The book of Joel. The book of Joel is part of the minor prophets, and it's not a minor because of importance, but of size in comparison to other books of the prophets. 
uh, author. Most Bible scholars believe that the author will be is the prophet Joel himself. They believe that he was not a Levite because of his knowledge of pastoring sheep and agricultural work. Dave, most Bible scholars believe the book of Joel was written between 835 796 BC during the reign of King Joash. All right, the setting. The setting of the book of Joel was during the military attack by Tyrannicide in Philistia. Uh, also, there was a locust invasion that brought severe economic devastation. The theme, the main theme of the book of Joel is the day of the Lord. You'll hear that over and over. The day of the Lord appears about 19 times in the book. The phrase is not always eschatological, eschatological but it's also historical. The day of the Lord involves seismic disturbance, a change. Different themes in the book of, Ju of, of, of Joel is the day of the Lord, God controls the weather, preparation for war, a mighty army is coming against Israel, okay? And then the book of Joel also has association with the book of Revelation. The main thing is restoration and blessing will come to the people. All right, if you look at verse 1, Verse 1, the word of the Lord that came to the son, to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Joel was divinely commissioned by God. Uh, and also in verse 2, hear this, O you elders, and give ear, O you inhabitants of the land. Has anything happened like this in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? The nation of Israel was, a, was found guilty and ready for the wrath of God. The leaders were exhorted to lead people to repentance. Just like today, People need to repent and come to a relationship with Jesus Christ. Do you know him? If you don't, I want you to pray right now. Repent of your sins. Receive Jesus as Savior and Lord. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I receive you as my Savior and my Lord. Come into my heart and make me a new creature. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for every single person to say yes to you. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget, subscribe to Dig Deeper and share this video with as many people as possible.